Hey guys, welcome back to our Spring Batch and Spring Batch integration series. In today's video, we are going to talk about how we can use Spring Batch in order to write items to multiple output sources. So let's suppose that we have here a Spring Batch application. This application reads from a file and writes the contents or items into database. As the business evolves, now we need to write the same data into Kafka. So how can we implement this using Spring Batch? Of course, there are different approaches that we can follow, but using Spring Batch, we can take advantage of Composite Item Writer. So what is Composite Item Writer? In Spring Batch, a Composite Item Writer simply is a class that allows you to write items to multiple output sources in a single step, okay? So in our use case here, in our example, we are going to read from a file and we are going to use the composite item writer in order to write first into MySQL and later to Kafka, okay? And remember, there is a sequence and we are going to follow the order. So let's go to the code. So now that we are here on our IntelliJ, remember guys that we are using the branch uh, feature test container database, okay? So we are using this branch here. So from the previous video, so if you remember guys, uh, we have already a Spring Batch application that writes the contents into database using the JPA item writer. So now the first thing that we are going to do, we are just going to remove here some stuff that we don't really need, just like this async item writer, okay? And yes, that's all. So the next thing that we are going to do, we are going to create here a Kafka item writer. So as we have already here, the sales info JPA item writer that we are going to use to write into database. Now we need also to create a bin, okay, a Spring Batch uh, Kafka item writer to write to the Kafka. So now let's go. So I think uh, right here we can start creating our bin, okay, our Kafka item writer. So let's just go. Let's use it as um, yes. Let's just call it by item writer, okay. So we are going to write the sales info as we are writing here using the JPA. So let's call it by sales info Kafka item writer. So now the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to instantiate the class Kafka item writer. So the Kafka item writer uses as a key, okay? a string and as a value the sales info if you don't understand what we are doing here i suggest you to go to the video that i'm going to link here on the description which we were covering the topic related to kafka item writer so now let's set up the kafka template so this is the way that we set up the kafka template I have here the Kafka template, okay? So which receives a string as a key and the sales info itself as a value. So the next thing that we need to do is to actually map the key mapper. So in order to map the key mapper, we can just use it as a Lambda expression. So as a key, we are going to use the seller ID. So we are going to get from the sales info and let's use the seller ID. Now let's set up some properties like, for example, after property set in order to validate after all this configuration. The after property sets throws an exception so in our case, let's just use the Lombok sneaky throws. And also let's annotate our 
Kafka item writer as a bin. So I think also another configuration not required that we need to use is for example, set delete. Let's put it as false. So in that order, let's just return the Kafka item writer. So having it like this, now that we have the bin that writes to database and also the one that writes to Kafka, we need to create our composite item writer. So let's go. As I was telling you guys, the composite item writer is just a spring class, okay? So we have the composite item writer. The composite item writer knows that we are going to write sales info. So let's create the method. Now let's instantiate the class composite item writer. which receives sales info. Now, this, the only property that we need to use in the composite item writer is, we, uh, is the delegate, okay? We are going to use the method set delegates. As we can see here on the documentation, we are going to delegate some items writers, okay? a collection of item writers. So in our case, let's use the sales info item writer and let's use the method set delegates. Set delegates receives as argument a collection or a list okay, of item writers. In our case, let's just use the list of in order to create an immutable list. And here we are going to put our writers. So the first one is sales info jpa item writer and the next one will be the sales info kafka item writer so having it like this let's just return the sales info composite item writer now the next thing that we are going to do we are going to use the composite item writer in our step so let's move to our step as we can see here before we were using as a future let's just delete here some stuff that we don't need and of course also here is not a sync item processor but it will be item processor and here instead of any other writer for example we could use the jpa the jpa item writer or just the Kafka item writer but instead we are going to use the sales info composite item writer so here we have our composite item writer so now let's test our application in order to see if we are doing it correctly so now let's run our application So remember guys, you need to have a Kafka container running on your machine, okay? If you want, you can just, for example, follow the previous video that we talk about Kafka item writer using Spring Batch, okay? Using Spring Batch. And also, and also if you remember guys, on that video, we use also these properties here. So I just skip this part because this video is not related to Spring Batch Kafka Item Writer. Instead, it's related to Spring Batch Composite Item Writer, okay? So now that we have here our application running, so the first thing that we are going to do, we are going here on my machine, I have here some files. So I'm just going to use this file here, should complete, okay? These are files that I used to test. And let's put here on our directory that we are on our directory that our application, okay, is reading from, okay. 
So let's put the file and let's check if it will process correctly. So we have here, okay, everything seems to be okay. Now let's go and let's check first our database, okay? We are using the sales info, okay? Now let's check if we have some records there. Okay, so as we can see, we have four records, okay? And the next thing that we need to check is if the items were delivered also into Kafka, okay? To Kafka. In that order, I'm just using the AKHQ. If you are following all videos, you know what is AKHQ, which is our Kafka UI. And if you check here on our application property, you can see that we are writing, okay, in our default topic, which is sales info. So let's check. Okay, we have here four items. Let's inspect it. Okay, as we can see here, we have the same items, okay, that we were just uh, writing here, that we just write here on our database, on our table. As we can see, the ID one, the category, city, and so on, is the same that we have here, okay? So, using Spring Batch Composite Item Writer is a very nice way, okay, to write items to different or multiple destinations. As we can see here, it's just very simple. We can add as more destination as we want, okay? And just using the Composite Item Writer class.